Hello my convicts and convict heads, yes the design the cup of convict bring you guys and gals another gameplay so here we are in Warface once again this is Capture the Point and obviously I was trying it out before I tried something a little bit different, something new so let's get it on. I do apologize if there is a slight delay today my little boy decided to fall over and he smacked his head on the corner of our gas fire and cut his head so it was very intense moment it's only a little little very tiny little cut but you know with someone who is, especially with my son being autistic for those who are quite new my son's autistic and he can't really tell me if there's any problems with him so he just has his little manner mannerisms that he does like he rotates his fingers and hands when he's excited he'll do certain things but a lot of time even when he's not feeling well or anything he won't d display it he won't show you that is not well you just kind of got to guess sometimes and it can be pretty hard uh, as you can hear he's here with me now he's full of cold he's got tonsillitis and he's banging his head all in one go so yeah anyway let's get on the gameplay here so as you can see we're trying to capture a point you've got to do it three times our team was pretty pretty tank i think to be honest there was a bit of lag in this i am playing on an american server so i was struggling a little bit at times with certain people being extremely laggy which was kind of annoying but you know we we're just trying to do the best that we could and uh, obviously get as many kills in as i possibly could try it out so i'm using a new setting here as well if you think it's a pretty cool setting, let me know I basically slowed down my my medium and large. It's one I've been using. That's actually helped me out a lot when playing such as Black Ops 4. But then since they've now added the new sensitivities in. Kind of useless to that point now. But this is what that sensitivity is kind of doing. It's kind of helping me keep on target. And obviously keep that accuracy on. So I could hear people. I'm like, um, I don't know. So take this guy out. Look, I'm not even aiming downside. Just hip fire the shizne out of them. I found the hip fire in this game pretty strong. Pretty strong. If you were too far, then it wasn't as good. And as you can see there, I didn't quite beat him. But again, there was a lot of issues with connection. A lot of times when I was dying, it was like, did I really die there? Or, or was it just connection? I don't know. So as you can see, I'm just testing it out. Burst fire, hip fire. Without even aiming, and just destroy that guy. So just trying to figure out where they're coming from. And sometimes I'm just insta-dying. That guy had a particular weapon. I don't know if you have to pay for that weapon. I know there's some weapons you can purchase them for the day. Or you can permanently unlock them. And that one actually fires really, really fast. I do, I believe, keep picking that weapon up at some point. Picked up this LMG, I thought, let's try out the LMG, see if that's any good. Let's restock it with some ammo, because I thought maybe it was low on ammo. Try and figure out where they are. Get some kills in. Help out the team like we do. I was like, well, where are these guys spawning then? And then I just noticed they just spawned here. I was like, what? I don't know how, again, I don't know how I didn't kill him. That was almost, that was also a headshot. And I still didn't kill him. Unless he got some form of spawn protection. Possibly. I did try and shrink the circle of trust as I call it. On my net Duma To sort of force the connection to near to where I was. But unfortunately there is no servers near. So it's just like. Okay I'm just going to have to go for battlefield. And just choose the whole entire area of the maps. And hope for the best. And that's all I was getting was American servers. So, you know, there's not really much I could have done in order to prevent it. Just unfortunate. But there you go. We even killed each other at the same time. I don't know how. But a lot of kill trading going off in this game. Right, there you go. Again, I thought I'd kill that guy. I'm definitely sure I should have killed him there. But... I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. This is on the postcard. Now I didn't know they could come down that side. I've not played this map before to be honest. So I wasn't didn't have a clue that they could actually come down there. 
And you can see another guy trying to be sneaky and flank. And another guy following him closely behind. Another thing you need to fix is this blooded screen you see. You seem to spawn with it. It's kind of weird. There you go. Take him out. So as you can tell, our team's literally going through. So I'm trying to find the gun he's got. I'm thinking, well, he's got some form of SMG. Surely. And that's what I was kind of looking out for there. I was trying to run around, find out where they are. And find it. And then I'm like, yeah, this is it. This has got to be it. So I'm like, trying to press it. It's like, oh, no ammo. Okay, fair enough. Let's resupply it. There we go. Get a good reload in. I accidentally pressed triangle to change weapon there for some bizarre reason. Don't know why. So I'm ready to go with this new gun. Now, I don't know how you get new guns and stuff that you can keep. I need to figure that out because I really want to have guns in this that I can actually use permanently. As this one's got a pretty nice sight. But as you can see itself, this gun fires super quick. So I'm like, that must be what was killing me. Resupply myself again. Get ready for the... The fire. I don't know how many bullets this holds. So, trying to help out. So, just waiting now. Just anyone gonna spawn here? I'm like, okay, they're going that way. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know where I'm going, but <laughs> let's just go this way. Took out that guy quick as a flash. Just go up here by the boat. Right, okay, where are they now? Now jump on the point, why not? Throw a bomb. Get on that point. <clears throat> now, and one thing I've noticed as well, you don't heal in the game, which... I know you can be the medic and you can actually heal people, but... It's kind of weird. I don't know why I was shooting a teammate there. Must have thought he was a bad guy. I find it really, really hard sometimes to di to distinguish who's good and who's bad, because you've just got to kind of look for the grey names above their heads. But very, very off-putting at times. That's why I was shooting sometimes at um teammates, and just literally caught him. But as you can see, I've literally got no health now. So one little tickle, I'm dead. So I'm trying to figure out where I can hear these noises, and then all of a sudden, this dude just comes. It doesn't even. I don't think he even shot. Or if he did, it didn't make no sound. Then he started shooting afterwards. It's like, what? So you can see more teammates killed one, could not get to the other one. There was no chance. And there was another guy behind him anyway. So I would have died. I always try and see how long I can live for and try and my best to survive. But because you can't physically heal in the game, it doesn't help. I'm looking for that gun again. I'm like, where's that other gun? I want that other gun. So I'm just making sure I'm fully, he fully restocked on ammo here for the weapons. I'm like, is that an enemy almost who's going to shoot that guy? It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> we are a so I saw this guy here down by the boat. He's like, ah, sneaky. He's a sneaky sneak, sneaky snake. Am I, has he dropped a gun? It's like, no. No one's here, let's jump on the point. Right, I don't know where to stand. There's that many places you can see around. They're like, okay, I'm just going to crouch by this box and we're going to sit here and just chill out. I've, if I'm going to win, this is how we're going to do it. And there we go. So we managed to capture. Now it's going to flip over. And obviously we've got to defend. They've got to capture. And see if we can actually in fact stop them from capturing our point. So here we go. So let me know in the comments below. If you have been playing Warface. And what you like about Warface. And what your particular specialist is. Do you like to be the rifleman? Do you like to be assault? The medic? Let me know. I do apologize for my little boy. Getting very excited, aren't you? Hmm? Joining in, are you? Hmm? 
So just trying to find them. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was not going to win. And then he's uh, watching us spawn. I'm like, Jesus, how many shots does this guy want to take? So I could see the guy up top of my. How do you get up? That was my first thought. Like, how the hell is he getting up there? How do you get up there? Like, I don't know how, even how you would get up there. Because I, I don't know. I'll just keep an eye out for that area. I know that that's a particular area now that people are going to come from. As you can see, a guy dropping down there. I'm checking out that area, trying to keep it covered. You never know. Just covering my back. Eyes out down here. No. Trying to find this gun again. It's like, I'm sure this is it. And it's like, yep, this is the one. This is what I want. Let's restock it on ammo. Put in a new clip. There we go. <laughs> almost why he was a, a bad guy luckily I can't shoot your teammates I don't think I did try shooting someone at one point just to see if I could kill him because I kept thinking at times when I was insta dying or almost like shooting someone but not winning the gunfire I was kind of thinking is it me or, or could it be that if you shoot your teammates it's like hardcore and you shoot your teammates you kill yourself because you're not supposed to it's kind of what I was thinking at the time So I'm just covering the side here. I'm like, surely not. And it's like, that guy, I don't know when he fired, but there was literally no shots, no sound to him shooting. So I don't know how. I We both just insta-died there. It was crazy. I was like, I want my gun back. I want the one that I had. It's like, pick it up. I was like, oof. Nearly got him. And he's, he just literally just sniped me in the face. Is the only thing I can assume he's did there. Uh, So I think we're doing pretty well, we're actually keeping the enemy at bay and they've not even done our first point yet and we've got six minutes left so I think to what we did with them, you know, our team was pretty good. See falling guns, it's like, okay. <laughs> Fill up the ammo again. Try and, I did try and hit him, but it was like, I don't know, I don't know. Three kills in there, and he was trying to shoot at me. He's like, ah, quick, slide. Instead, I do the old crouch in Black Ops 3. Amazing. <laughs> don't forget as well, my convicts and convicts, if you enjoyed this video or if you are new, please feel free to subscribe. Tap that notification bell to be notified of all my video and give this video a like. Let's get it going. Don't forget to like my videos as well. It really does help support. Gets it out to more people. Gets it sharing to more people. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and tap the notification bell so you're notified every time a video goes live. Just in case there's days like this where I've had an unfortunate little mishap and I'm not able to record straight away that day or on time like I normally do. Well, again, trying to kill guys, five kills, and then I just died instantly to that other guy with no health left. So my team's pushed quite far in front. I'm like, is this someone up here? I can, I can hear someone. Let me throw a bomb, and surely he, he showed up. I just insta killed him. I don't know how I killed him now, unless the bomb hit him as well. I don't know. But again, people shooting, some sliding out of the way. Something I tried before and it didn't quite work. There we go. Another kill for me. 
I think my highest streak I've ever gotten on this was about 6-7 kills, I think. That's about the highest I've ever been able to get it. I didn't see him as well. I was like, quick, get in! And then I realised as I got to the box, I was like, no, you're dying. So there was a guy in here, and I didn't see him at first, but he, he must have had a pretty strong pistol. That, that must be, a, that Python must be a pretty strong gun, because he actually managed to survive quite a long time in there by himself. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm trying to throw bombs in there. It's like, can I bomb him? Will I kill him? And, and still not enough time. That's another thing I would like him to fix or do in the game. Make reloading just a little bit quicker. I feel that reloading is too slow. I know in some of the... Like little help help tippets that they put on there when it's loading. It does say swap weapon rather than reload. So as you can tell, they managed to eventually, after all that time, with just two minutes left on the clock, to get to the other point. But they've got one more to do, so literally would have had one hell of a time to try and get there. And then they just started spawning. That's like, oh, okay, they're spawning here. Can I throw a bomb? Can I kill someone? It's like, dang. I literally got there to them spawning in my face. Okay. Now obviously this would have been a bit harder because it's more ground for them to hide in. And I just noticed this guy in the window. Tried to throw a bomb, but failed miserably. I should have aimed a bit lower. And then I was trying to tap him to the head. Hit him a couple of times. I was like, okay, I got him. Then I shot a couple more. Still couldn't touch him. I was like, okay. Try again. And then he kissed me. I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought it was firing easily high enough to kill him there, but I don't know. So as you can see, I was going to try a sniper out. I was like, go on, let's try a sniper. Give it a bash. I didn't know how to change the snipers. Like, oh, just back out. And then it says respawn. That's snipers. Like, okay. So that's what you do. A uh, little bit of slider rooney. I just thought I'd try it out because I've not really tried snipers too much in the game. I did a little bit before, but when I have played this game in my spare time, I very rarely use snipers. Apart from obviously the times I've recorded. The enemy is capturing our strategic position. There we go. So he's just waiting for the class to change, as you can see. And there you go. Got a good old sniper out. Try and see if we can get an actual shot with this. I was like, I wonder if I could hit fire with it. Especially up close, because it seemed to be very, very straightforward. But unfortunately, as you can see, we didn't get a chance. We we didn't get a chance to throw it in there. But hopefully, you've enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more of this game, Warface, please let me know in the comments below. Also, hit the like, subscribe if you are new to be one of Kappa's convicts or convicts, and drop a like as well. It really does help the channel to grow. We're getting well on the way to 1,000 subscribers and being repartnered with YouTube. So definitely help me out, subscribe, and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. Because I would love to do this as a full-time job, especially with my son being here and being autistic and me looking after him and supporting him like I do as a full-time carer. It would be absolutely amazing. Well, you know it is, guys. It is I, the Kappa Convict. I'm signing out, and as always, I salute you, and I will see you soon in some more gameplays. Again, I do apologize for the slight delay to the day, but because of the events that arose, there's not much I could have done about it. But hopefully you had a good evening. Bye for now.